Hello folks, Marco here. Today we're gonna take a look at the Overload Custom Juno. Before getting into the review, a quick disclaimer. I am an endorser of Overload custom guitars, but this means only that Matteo from Overload provided me with the guitar. I can still say whatever I want, as always. That out of the way, let's go right into it. The clip you listened at the beginning was a loop based idea, very simple and melodic, and all the sounds were made with Archetype Pliny by Neural DSP. Let's address the elephant in the room, the design. As you can see, this is a single cut with a very peculiar shape and I think uh, it's a love or hate kind of thing. I mean, personally, I don't like it uh, from an aesthetic point of view, but, and it's a big but, pun unintended. Uh, when you were playing, uh, especially standing up with a strap, you get this feeling that it's almost like a dress. It fits perfectly against your body and uh, with all these contours, the deep belly cut, the arm bevel, I was quite surprised to be honest. Also because the slightly chunkier neck, it reminds me of a modern C-shaped neck. It's very comfortable. It's something that you can't see from the pics online. You have to play it. If you dig the aesthetics, then you're set because one of the points of strength of this instrument is indeed how it sounds. It's not a metal machine by any means, but since I'm a metal head, I put it to the test.
right right i know what you're thinking those were very open inspired riffs but when i do this kind of demos i try to don't think too much and uh, play the guitar and feel inspired by it so those were the riffs that i came up with naturally anyway if you play from rock to blues you won't be disappointed i think it's where it shines also because these pickups give to the instrument a very classic and vintage sound that matches perfectly with the overall look i think now i'm gonna let you hear how it sounds through a real amp and i'm using my marshall jdm 205h going through the torpedo live for giving you a dry and raw sound that is a more honest representation of the character of this instrument Through those clips, I think that you can hear very precisely the character of the pickups. These are called The Artist from Gorilla Pickups. They have uh, Alnico 5 magnets and a uh, pretty low output. So they have this wide dynamic range, they have a ton of dynamic, they are very responsive to the touch and so they have this kind of single coilish flavor to them. They have a punchy low end combined with a very sparkly high end on the top and so they have a very open sound. Maybe on the bridge a little too bright for my taste. My favorite combination is in the middle where you have both pickups in series. Finally the bridge with a string through construction. I uh, never see this brand before but it's uh, I don't know how to pronounce it but I mean it's doing what it's supposed to do because I didn't notice it was there. It's very rounded, there are no sharp edges whatsoever and uh, it's great. The only problem I can call up with this instrument is the tuning stability. I don't know if it's caused by the nut or by the machine heads, whatever. It just doesn't keep the tuning very well, especially after wide bendings. That being said, this is a no issue because I can always call the overload customer service uh, to let them take care of the instrument with no charge. From any other point of view, the fret leveling job, uh, dressing, crowning, uh, the quality of the materials, the finishing, I mean, it's a custom instrument and it's great as it should be. If you like it and even if you don't, I suggest you to check out the Overload Custom website so that you can see also the other models and maybe some bases. And also check out Gorilla Pickups because they have a plethora of other models for every taste. I hope you enjoyed the review. Cheers guys!